it's not a story that everybody knows, so it's not a famous enough story where everyone goes, oh, it's a, a Roald Dahl or it's a, a classic myth. Would you like it? basically follows the journey of a wind-up mouse and his child. I'm playing Mouse, who is attached to the child. Um, they are a clockwork toy. They're bought. I play the child and we're connected, so we're kind of one big kind of symbiotic clockwork thing. Look at that! Who are put into a toy shop and then are bought for Christmas. They get discarded by some children who don't think they're a very interesting toy because they're a bit old fashioned. They break us and we get uh, thrown away onto a rub rubbish dump. And they go on this phenomenal Disney-like journey of epic proportions. The pursuit and quest for home and to be self-winding because that's another thing that is very important to the clockwork mouse because they can't do anything unless people wind them up. So they're passive to whatever happens to them, so they need kind of freedom, kind of self-determination. It's very philosophical. All right, boys, what you got? A good analogy is the original Grimm tales and maybe other versions when, of those fairy tales which they've slightly sweetened them. You go back to the original Grimm tales and they're brutal. The witch in Snow White is made to dance in molten slippers at the end of that story. And there is a level of that level of brutality in the world of this. It's not all that, and you want to make the audience laugh, but like in a, a, a great story, you want all those different emotions to be in there. It's just got everything you want. You've got danger, you've got a love story, you've got baddies and goodies, and you've got, in the middle of it, you've got this, this wonderful, beautiful toy who's just, just trying to find his way home. Beautiful. 